ప్రభువా నన్ను ఎవరూ ఖండించలేదు ఏసేయమన్నాడు నేను కూడా నిన్ను ఖండించను ఇక నువ్వు పాపము చేయకుండా జీవించమని సలహాని ఇచ్చాడు కాబట్టి ప్రియమైన దేవుని బిడ్డలారా సో మై డియర్ పీపుల్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ టుడే ద లాడ్ సేస్ ఐ విల్ నాట్ కండమ్ యూ సో వెన్ ఎవర్ వీ కమ్ ఇన్ ద ప్రజెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద లాడ్ అండ్ సే లాడ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ సిండ్ సో ద లాడ్ సేస్ ఓకే గో ఫర్ యువర్ ప్రీవియస్ సిన్స్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ గోయింగ్ టు కండమ్ యూ బట్ సిన్ నో మోర్ సో మై డియర్ పీపుల్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ yesterday i have given my example how i was i said my whole past life i was spending in sin that is even drinking little also a sin then for for the drinking alcohol many a times we speak lies we cheat people we speak lies sometimes we steal money also why to buy the liquor and drink only one bad <coughs> addiction will lead you into many things in our life so here this woman was caught in adultery and always saying that she was caught in adultery we should kill her by stoning but jesus said those who have not sinned throw the first stone stone over her and kill her see everybody in this world they sin it doesn't mean everybody is sinning i should also sin everybody is drinking i should also drink everybody is living a worldly life i should also live no my dear people of god everybody are sinners it doesn't mean you should sin so i always say if they are not wearing proper clothes why can't you wear proper clothes and show that you have to live a life like this so i was a living a sinful life always drinking always being in this world but my dear people have got when i had an encounter with the lord i told you know yesterday i was as how i entered the ministry through my talent with what god has blessed me drumming so i went i entered the ministry with the talent and slowly i left the habit of drinking so when the holy spirit comes we live the life of fleshly and we try to live a life of spirit so my dear people of god so when i started living a life of uh, spiritual slowly slowly all my bad habits that means no more sin one by one one by one one by one through in my body and in my life and in everywhere in my uh, family the sin left us so from that from that day i was trying not to sin i told you i even do i was trying to not to see the what you say pictures cinema boards movie movie uh, cutouts and boards why because some ugly dresses will be there so jesus says when you encounter with jesus when you come closer to jesus he says sin no more i will bless you abundantly but sin no more he says and if you see in john chapter 5 verse 14 afterward jesus found him in the temple and said to him see you are well now you are healed now sin no more that nothing worse may happen to you so my dear people of god when we come to god and when we have an encounter with god when god blesses you when he does miracle in your life and when you receive the blessings of the lord there the lord says don't sin again once you come out of the world don't go back to your previous life so whoever comes in the ministry i tell them don't live a worldly life ni lokariti jeevithani ni poorthiga marchipo ee vindulu vinodalu pellilu perantallu ivanni functions rakarakamaina lokariti aa balahinathulu adi odili pettu devuni meeda aadharapadu live on the lord <coughs> don't go into your past life so many they come into the ministry and they live same as usual as they were previous for the name sake they stay in the ministry they will be giving more preference to the person we have to go where if somebody dies we have to go but if there is a ministry before that whole day you can go and pray for the soul and the body of the, those persons the whole day you can go from morning till evening so if you have a 
word of god if you have a ministry in the afternoon what we have to do we should first attend the ministry then we have to go and attend the funeral also both the both the ways we can be in the ministry and we can be in the funeral mass and everywhere wherever we want to go so even i go to the funeral even i go to bless the people those who die but i finish my ministry and go that means everywhere in everything first seek the kingdom of god everything will be added unto you but some people from morning they will sit there only near the body those who have died చచ్చిన వాళ్ళ యొక్క ఆ శవం దగ్గర రోజంతా కూర్చొని వాళ్ళ సమయాన్ని వారితో వీళ్ళతో మాట్లాడుకుంటూ అనవసరంగా వృధా చేస్తూ ఉంటారు కానీ ముఖ్యమైన పని ఏంటంటే మరణించిన వాళ్ళ కోసం కూడా మనం ప్రార్థన చేయాలి సో ఒక్కసారి దేవుళ్ళు వచ్చిన తర్వాత మళ్ళీ లోకరీతిగా మనము తిరగొద్దు లోకరీతిగా మన జీవితాన్ని సమర్పించుకోవద్దు లోకరీతిగా మనం జీవించకూడదని ఈరోజు వాక్యము ఈరోజు వాగ్దానము దేవుని యొక్క సందేశంగా మనకు దేవుడు ఇస్తున్నాడు ప్రియమైన దేవుని బిడ్డలారా డోంట్ సీన్ అగైన్ సీ వన్స్ ఐ కేమ్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ద లిక్కర్ ఒక్కసారే తాగుడు మానాను నెవర్ అటాచ్డ్ ద వైన్ ఈవెన్ వైన్ ఐ విల్ నాట్ డ్రింక్ ఐ వెంట్ టు జెరుజలేం సో మెనీ సెవెన్ టైమ్స్ బట్ నెవర్ ఐ టచ్డ్ వైన్ ఇన్ ద ఇన్ ద ఇఫ్ యూ సో ఇఫ్ యూ గో టు ద గ్రోట్ ఆఫ్ మదర్ మేరీ దేర్ దే సెల్ ద వైన్ క్యానా దే సెల్ దేర్ ఇఫ్ యూ గో టు ద విలేజ్ ఆఫ్ క్యానా దేర్ ఆల్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వైన్స్ ప్యూర్ వైన్ విల్ బీ సోల్డ్ దేర్ and they give freely to drink it will be on the table whichever shop you enter or two three bottles will be there every table one bottle of wine and cups will be there you can take the wine freely to taste it like that even that wine i have not taken my dear people of god so never i touched it because once if i left means it is over so we should not go back again why because the satan once it will it has tempted you you think that it will not tempted you again it will definitely tempted you again and it will try to pull off all your holiness all your purity and all the anointing which was in you with one sip of wine you will lose everything one puff of cigarette if you take you lost all your anointing i was a chain smoker also as i was a drink i was a drunker as used to, i used to drink i used to smoke also so all at once i left drinking smoking chewing uh, uh, gutkas and many other things were there so i left the same day within uh, today morning i said lord i will not touch from that day till today i never touched people say if you don't smoke if you don't drink if you don't chew gutka you will not uh, have proper motion you cannot stand you cannot walk your hands and legs will shiver you may get uh, your hands and legs may get paralyzed nothing like that happened i am standing still and straight before you so my dear people have got when the holy spirit takes care of you control of you nothing will harm you and nothing you you, you should be feared of so the lord says don't sin again you are healed now so when we come to the lord we are healed from all kind of weakness sickness diseases and we are delivered from all kind of demonic spirits and evil evil spirits so once you come in the presence of the lord you are healed and the warning and the uh, very uh, calling word with love is saying don't sin you be with me always don't sin means you be pure like me and be with me john 3:17 says for god did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him why because see jesus came to give us the message the good news that we should be saved that means we should not sin again he came to deliver us from all kind of clutches of satan that is sin Isaiah 1 verse 16 to 18 says Wash yourselves make yourself clean remove the evil of your deeds from before my eyes cease to do evil learn to do good seek justice correct oppressions bring justice to the fatherless pledge the widows plead the widows cause widows cause come now let us risen together says the lord through your sins are like scarlet they shall be as white as snow though they are red like 
crimson they shall become like wool praise the lord so my dear people of god though your spin sins are spot like like spots like a red spots but even then the lord says i will clean it and make it whiter than snow snow so today the lord has come to clean all our sins so let us not sin once again so today we should pray lord give us the grace and pour out your precious blood over us though so that we may not sin once again so luke chapter 15 verse 7 says just so i tell you there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous person who need no repentance so the lord always those who come to the lord and repent and say i will sin no more that is the greatest prayer in every prayer because the heaven will rejoice the father will rejoice the the uh, 24 elders will rejoice and all the angels will rejoice the kingdom of god will rejoice when you say lord i will sin no more so you are saved and you are making heaven happy doing all kind of worldly things all kind of social works preaching singing praising and still if you sin the heaven will not rejoice if you give prophecies the heaven will not rejoice if you say lord i will not sin i repent all my sins the heaven will rejoice thank you lord for giving us this message through your daily manna and blessing us even today lord today you have given us the opportunity not by prayer not by worship not by preaching not by miracles not by prophecies but when we repent lord you bless us more than everything because when we repent you rejoice and you are glorified thank you lord for giving us this opportunity to repent today and make heaven rejoice i thank you i praise you i make this prayer in the mighty name